Hello everyone, my name is Jerry BR and welcome to a special unboxing episode. So I've gotten the new Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. So we're gonna open up into this, see what's in it. But more importantly after this, I have another package that needs to be opened. Which I don't think there's gonna be anything too special about this. But I have the game and I have a special box. So we will open both of them. That nice sound. Right. So let that unsealed. Let's open it and Golden Hero Armor Pack. Very nice. Don't show that code. A welcome to the game. And some special. Season pass stuff. Love it that there's a nice butt stallion on there. That's the important pack. Who cares about the actual game when you have this massive box? Tiny Tino's Wonderland's Treasure Trove. I think this side is the front. I'm gonna try to open it that way. And then I can pull stuff out of here. Cool. It takes up every free inch on my desk. And then some. So let's just see. Very careful. one giant. Oh wait, no, it is in separate things. Right. So starting it off, uh, it's in plastic, and uh, I'll open. Very nice butt stallion. Alright. Stallion is free in all her glory. Very cute. Magical horns. Not as diamond like as one would think. Once upon a butt stallion castle paper mod module. And on the back it says Queen Butt Stallion is the most beautiful, perfectest, majestic ruler in all of Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Now you have the honor of making your very own paper model of her royal castle. Neo peasant. 
That's exciting. Tina's Bunkers and Badasses. What is this? See, that's what happens when you order something over six months ago. Assuming of all the places in the game. Okay, so it looks like everyone's spec sheets and everything is if you're actually going to be playing Bunkers and Badasses. Maybe you actually can play with this. dance floor, Hyperion Tower, interesting but not what we're here for, I think that's the DM, I think that's just the DM guide, now we're moving on to smaller items. Does this open? Okay, the other way. This is a nice box. Oh, it's all the tarot cards. So we have a nice claptrap as the fool. Let's see if I can get this open without too much trouble. Trap as the Fool, Tiny Tina the Magus, someone as the High Priestess, but most importantly, but Stallion as the Empress. Let me just cut the deck some. So, but Stallion is the Empress. We have the Emperor. Focus. Why won't it focus on me? Very important. Mr. Torque for strength. Trying to see who else we're familiar with from the Borderlands series. If anyone. A lot of these most. There's a lot of number based one with like disc. Wands. Not sure what exactly those are supposed to be. It's almost like it's a normal 52 card deck. I think it actually might just. I think part of it's a normal 52 card deck and part of it's a tarot deck. Because we have Ace of Wands. All 
two of wands, everything ranging up to 10. And then we got king, knight, which I guess would be the joker, queen, or not the joker, the jack, and then a page of wands. I don't know what that would be. I guess that would be the joker. Then we have those disc, uh, cups, and what's the last one? Ah, Ace of Swords. So a nice, like, I don't know, 80 tarot cards? It doesn't say. But we shall put them back in the box. The nice magnetic locking box. All right. Items left. All right. So we have a nice cloth map of the world. Warning this may include spoilers. We have a pin set, which eh, it's gonna be hard, too hard to see with that plastic on. Pin sets. Try to get. Why won't it focus? So it looks like that's everything in the box. I am kind of disappointed. But it's my loss. Oh, I guess. So uh, be on the lookout for Tiny Tino Wonderland videos coming soon. Thank you guys for watching. As always, see you in the next video. Bye bye.